Summer is in full swing and we have been talking about how to make our summer the best that it can be, especially on a budget. In today's video, we are talking all about something new that I am trying for the season. We are going to be talking about what I am calling the I'm Bored Jar. So I first need to say that this idea is not original to me. This is not something that I came up with. I've seen so many different iterations of this on Pinterest, just online in general, but I wanted to kind of put my own spin on it. So here is my creation. It is what I'm calling the I'm Bored Jar. So the basic idea is that in a nutshell, this is just a collection of play prompts. There are a lot of social media accounts that really talk about boredom and how great it is to let your kids be bored and I totally agree with that. There's, there's such a beauty and a creativity to letting your kids be bored. But what I have found is that sometimes if there is too much boredom, instead of creating creativity, it can create kind of an angst and more room for arguments and it's just not always the best energy in our house. Also, with there being so much togetherness and so much time at home, there are often times when I am preoccupied with a home task or maybe a work from home task and I am not able to devote my full attention to the kids. And so my point in this was I want us to have our time to play together. I want us to have that valuable time, but I really want to have some ideas that will just jumpstart that creativity. I just found that I needed a way to encourage play among my kids that didn't directly involve me. I knew that I wanted to foster that creativity a bit and just provide them a jumping off point. I wanted to provide those prompts that said, hey, why don't you take this thing and use it in this way? The way that I made this a little bit different from maybe going to the websites that already had this idea was I wanted to look around our home and make sure I use the things that we already have. Items that maybe we have forgotten about or maybe items that aren't kept right at eye level because they are messy or involved. I wanted to pull those out and say, let's really make a feature of using this thing. I also think that this will be a good opportunity to really kind of evaluate, is there anything that you have it on the list, you have it written down, and you're still not choosing it. So maybe we're not interested in this thing. Maybe this has kind of passed. Maybe we're beyond this phase and we can pass this on to someone else. So what I have done is just buy a pack of popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. They were very inexpensive and I just ended up using a regular small point pen. This is my favorite pen actually. It's a Pilot G38.38. It's a very fine tip. I started to use the fine tip Sharpie, but I anticipated that it would probably bleed more than I wanted it to. So the fine tip Pilot really did an excellent job at writing without doing much smudging. So I sat down and collected 30 ideas and I've got them all on these popsicle sticks. Now, of course, you could just write on pieces of paper and fold them up and put them in here. The reason why I chose popsicle sticks was I think that it's fun, but also because none of these are single use ideas. Everything in here is something that they could do again or make a small adjustment to. So I won't make them choose one and say, this is what you have to do today. I'm gonna give them some choice, but just say, you know, look around, read a couple and see if anything stands out to you. I think what I have found with myself and with my kids is that sometimes if you just change up one element of play or one element of a part of your day, it feels brand new. So maybe they're going to use their toy cash register, but instead of in their room, they are using it in the kitchen and creating a Play-Doh store with their Play-Doh food creations. Instead of just coloring inside, they're taking their coloring and doing it in the treehouse, or they're taking their bop it and playing bop it in the treehouse which is an added bonus because that's a noise I don't have to have in my house. But I also want to use this as an opportunity for me to open myself up to say yes a little more to play things like the bop it or like the karaoke machine that might be a little loud that I might normally say no to. It just really helps having it written down as something in the jar and I know that I have already pre-approved and come up with everything on this list. For the label, I just used an index card that was lined on one side and white on the other and I just cut a little square and then I just used some hand lettering to decorate the front and did some little flowers in the corner. So it's fun and it's also pretty to look at. 
All right, I want to go through and show you the 30 things that I have. Now, if you choose to do this in your own home for your own family, I would encourage you to look through. Some of these are going to be things that you maybe have, like Legos, but some of them are going to be very specific things that we have. So I would encourage you to look for those specific things that you have in your home, maybe the things that you haven't used in a while or that maybe are put away in the top of a closet. All right, guys, so here are my 30 ideas. Number one, host a karaoke party. Number two, gather all of your animals in cages using bar stools and under living room chairs and have a zoo. Make your own tickets and signs. Number three, make a parade using your cars, trucks, and tractors. Number four, open a Play-Doh cafe. Create delicious treats for your customers and use your cash register. Number five, build a droid using your droid factory workbook. Number six, Watch a YouTube video on Rubik's Cubes and spend some time trying to solve your own. Number seven, watch a YouTube video on chess or checkers and then play a game with someone. Number eight, make a paper target or two and practice aiming for the bullseye with your Nerf guns. Which one shoots the best? Do you like certain bullets more than others? Number nine, play the leap pad. Take turns each doing one page. Number 10, do two pages in your Minecraft math book. Number 11, write a card to a friend on our colorful note cards and envelopes. Decorate them any way you want. Number 12, choose a puzzle and put on your favorite music. Happy puzzling! Number 13, play with the sensory bean bin and have a treasure hunt. Number 14, grab coloring books and crayons and color in the treehouse. Number 15, grab a seek and find book or where's Waldo and lay in the hammock looking for hidden things. Number 16, pull out the magnets and make up a story on the fridge. Take turns telling stories on your own and then together. Number 17, lay on the rug with the reusable sticker pad. Have fun. Number 18, get out the Legos and make something awesome. Number 19, choose a Lego kit and build it step by step. Number 20, play Bop It in the treehouse. Number 21, pull out the dominoes and make a domino train. Number 22, sit at the little table in the living room and do an art hub drawing video. Number 23, get out the doctor kit and take care of the sick baby dolls in the doll bed. The next two are very specific to some of our favorite TV shows and we have the figurines to go along with those. Number 24, Gabby is excited for a fun day ahead. Spend some time with her and the Gabby cats in the dollhouse and the ship. Number 25, Bingo and Rolly are going on an adventure to help Bob play in the dollhouse and help them on their mission. Number 26, play dress up. Dresses, superheroes, princesses, animals. Number 27, take the walkie talkies outside and have fun. Number 28, make a super awesome marble run. Number 29, Practice using the yo-yo. And number 30, each pick a book from the shelf and take turns reading it or telling a story using pictures. All right, the last thing that I wanted to say is I don't think this has to be reserved just for children. I think that sometimes as adults we get bored, maybe not in the sense that kids do. I think as adults we always have things to do, but I think sometimes we just would like different things to do. Or sometimes we have those few moments of free time and we don't know how to use them. So I think that this would be a really great thing for an adult and you could make your own I'm Bored jar with little 15, 20 minute tasks that would make your life richer. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this I'm Bored jar. I hope that it made you smile and maybe inspired you in some way. Thank you so much as always for watching Yard Sale Squad. If you'd like more videos that are inspiring like this one, I will have a few linked at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll be talking to you soon.